and welcome to what will hopefully be my dumbest journey I've ever taken. And hopefully, probably one of the craziest adventures I've ever been on. I've been on a few. Uh, so currently you join me on the way to the airport at an ungodly time in the morning, currently 4 a.m. Uh, I am on my way to Newark Airport to fly from Newark to Jacksonville, Florida. And you might be asking yourself, why are you flying to Florida? And the answer to that is, I found a really cheap ramp truck in Jacksonville. And it doesn't run. Well, it runs, but not continuously. Uh, so it's perfect. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna drive or fly to Jacksonville by this ramp truck that doesn't currently run great. Uh, and then drive it all the way back to PA. After I fix it up and get it running. Yeah, this is dumb. Real dumb. Uh, I bought a one-way flight, a one-way flight to Florida, so uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this work. I gave myself about a week's time to get it running and get it home. Uh, it should only be a two-day drive from Florida, so really I can do it in one day with the way I've done trips. Uh, so should it be doable. Um, it's gonna be an interesting one, but uh, we'll see. So, I'm going to take you along for the journey, since this is something I've always wanted to do in my life, is to fly somewhere, buy a vehicle, work on it in the yard of the person that owns it, and drive it home. Um, I really wanted a tow rig, and currently the market sucks for trucks, and a uh, ramp truck just made more sense, and it's cooler, so yeah. I'll take you along in the journey. I hope you enjoy. And hopefully we make it. Well, <laughs> no guarantees there. picked up a bunch of stuff from advance uh, can't really get stuff that you should be able to get like fuel line like they, I couldn't get like five foot of fuel line they just have no loose fuel line which is ridiculous to me so gonna have to sort that out probably uh, they didn't have a lot of other stuff like tools so we're, we're gonna wing it and figure it out later I guess I got enough that I can at least get started on the truck hopefully get it Splice together. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot a knife. Anyway, we'll figure it out. All right. At the... I'm at the truck. And, uh, yeah, this thing is, uh... It is rough. Uh, to the point of... Th this is questionable. Uh, let's take a look. The, the body and the frame looks solid, like really good. Everything else is sketch and questionable. Uh, it does not have an exhaust right now, so it is pretty much just, it is the header, that's it. Wiring seems a bit sketch. Um, you, you have to use a lone wolf. 5,000 to get it started. More wiring, rat's nest. 
main concern is we got signs of some wires that were getting hot. But we're going to see if we can get it continuously running. It starts, but it just doesn't continue to run. Uh, we got the fuel pressure regulator started. I'm going to finish that up. All right, pressure regulator and gauge are installed. Let's try firing this thing up again with two PSI pressure and see what it likes. All right, so yeah, it's, it's rough. Uh, right now, put Permutex on the fuel pressure regulator because it's leaking gas. Not surprising, I forgot to get Teflon tape. I meant to, but completely forgot. Uh, so waiting for that to cure up some before before I put any fuel to it. Uh, uh, mainly just gonna see does does the engine stay running even with that uh, regulator in there. If that doesn't help at all, then there's no point trying anymore. Uh, the other things I spotted um, exhaust is uh, behind the uh, header, so need to stop an exhaust shop get exhaust done uh, no way i could drive it any any notable distance with that uh alternator wiring doesn't look like it's all there it doesn't have a belt on it i think i might have the right belt but who knows uh brakes pedal has resistance but it goes to the floor with pretty much no effort um, does not get hung up so uh, there's definitely a, a, a leak uh, no pressure for that opened up the master cylinder uh, the uh, back reservoir for the rear loop is full front loop is empty so Looks like there's a brake leak somewhere in the front lines. Could be something easy, could be something difficult. Gonna crawl around in a little bit, taking a short break. Get out of the heat uh, and see what I can find out. All right, well, quick update. Uh, currently working on trying to keep it running, seeing what I can do there. Uh, so far, looks like it doesn't have enough fuel pressure. I can't get it running long enough to take a video uh, or anything. Uh, it just, it seems like what I can read from my fuel pressure gauge is getting one to two PSI and just like fluctuating between that. And it's not holding a steady pressure. Uh, I did buy a mechanical pump uh, just in case for this reason, uh, thinking that this might be an issue. Uh, however, Currently, that is, uh, they took the push rod out when, uh, when they blocked off the mechanical, uh, pump, so, uh, just waiting on trying to get a mechanical, or, uh, a push rod. Thankfully, the seller is being really good and, uh, helping me out here, so he's, he's gonna look for one and try to pick it up for me, um, while I swelter in Florida heat kind of work on things puts around I got a belt on the alternator got that tightened up I'm gonna look and see if I can get the wiring set up so it charges the battery and just kind of plug away at things I need to figure out what's going on with the brakes uh, pedals kind of spongy doesn't have resistance will go to the floor not like straight to the floor but goes to the floor uh, back of it's mostly rusty fluid and the front has nothing so that's kind of where we are it's gonna cool off a bit uh, in the shade and see what I can get done. All right, so status update. Uh, looking through, we got the we got a fuel pressure gauge. Was able to determine that the electric fuel pump was only putting out like one two psi. So as you can see down there, we installed the mechanical fuel pump. That it likely had to get off the or, eh, off the start, and now it gets a steady seven psi. 
still doesn't seem happy doesn't want to continue to run unless you give it some throttle but it will stay running with throttle where it wouldn't before now that it's got some got some fuel to it oh there's the alternator wiring i was looking for all right well that's important okay um so do a quick start or start up in a second but i also jerry-rigged some radiator hoses together to try to get the radiator in place. Uh, loop the heater core hose around off of the water pump because uh, the hoses aren't long enough to reach the heater core. Uh, so no point in messing with that. Been trying to drain the back reservoir. It just does not want to move. I don't know if the pedal is actually doing anything on this master cylinder. Oh wait, no I do because I have seen it spray and you can see the evidence of the spray. So it, it is definitely doing something, but it just doesn't feel like much. It's hard to drain the system. So, um, yeah. So let's go start it up. Come on. As soon as you let off throttle, it just kills itself. Oh, that's some nice lightning. For kicks and googles, I think I hooked up the alternator wiring, all of it. We'll see. Nope, not charging, and uh, I think I'm out of time for today. Whew. Florida is kicking my butt. It's just, it's it's hot, very hot. I got evidence of moisture right there, but like it looks like the bulk of it. Get the camera in here is like coming out of the top of the freaking oil pan. Hard to tell though, but it looks dry behind it. I'm not seeing it running down the block, but it's hard to see anything. All right, well, um. Currently sitting at Duck's house, Cone's brothers, and relaxing after my second day of trying to get the ramp truck to work and run. And I, uh, I don't have any footage from today as far as working on the truck. I don't have anything what I did. Uh, mainly because the first thing I did was I put water in it and that water promptly came back out through the back freeze plug which means that the transmission needs to be dropped or the engine has to be pulled and it, it's just it was another blow in the constant um, constant <laughs> beratement of bad news with this truck. Uh, 
every time I worked on it, every time I did something, it was just, I would find one more thing that I would see and know, all right, I need to fix that. I might be able to get away with it, but I'm going to need to fix it for it to be a reliable, usable truck. And I, unfortunately, after that water started coming out of the freeze plug, I made the decision that I need to call it quits. I need to uh, conclude this rather ridiculous journey. I knew it was a dumb idea. I knew it had a low likelihood of success. But that did not stop me from wanting to make it work and wanting to get it done. It, it was just... It, it was just too much. I, I was hoping I can just get the truck good enough to nurse it home, and if it could survive that trip, I could make it good enough to use it for a hauler for DeWitt. Uh, but upon working on it, 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 the list of things that needed to be done and needed work in order to make it runnable and reliable enough to haul to it and fill my goals for it was just too long. It, and it's not a money thing because money-wise, the truck was cheap enough. I could have uh, bought brand new parts, got the availabilities there, I could have got everything done. I could have got that truck good and reliable, but the problem is time and effort, uh, which I just can't put in. Just, I, I struggle to get the projects I have now done, and adding this truck on top would just cripple it. Like, I would not be able, I would have to drop other things to get that truck. So DeWitt would have to be put on hold. And the FC would have to be put on hold. It's just no way in hell I would get all those projects done. So, uh, I, I made the choice of, I'm going to have to figure something else out. Whether it's a just a truck that I can use to tow it with a trailer I have, or, I don't know, hell, car dolly, fucking do it behind the, the Renegade, I don't know, sell the Renegade, get a truck, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out, but what I do know is another project with a lot of time investment is something I can't afford, BFC has problems that do not require a whole lot of time investment and it's been off the road for two and a half years so granted the motivation of running DeWitt at rally crosses and rally sprints would probably motivate me to get the ramp truck done faster and actually get things moving and have a highly like higher likelihood of getting things done it, it still wasn't enough so Unfortunately, that's where this journey is going to have to conclude. I'm going to try to enjoy my rest of my time in Florida, find myself a flight home uh, with my tail between my legs, and plan out my next stupid adventure. Doesn't make it hurt any less. Uh, eventually, we'll, we'll, we'll find a better candidate to do what I was doing here, this one was just not, not even close to feasible to do a 900 mile journey. I could have got it maybe 200. I could have got it running good enough to go 200, but anything beyond that was just not feasible. So, uh, I hope I hope I can uh, throw something together with all the footage I took. I, I will say, I didn't record nearly as much as I wanted to, because despite being on my own, uh, which I thought would allow me to record and feel less awkward recording everything I was doing, um, I got thwarted by the fact that he had cameras all around his property for legitimate reasons. They were they were they were there for good reason. He was worried about people stealing, stuff like that, and as I found out, pretty legitimate reason. 
uh, risk. Um, but it just made it super awkward to want to set up my tripod and record anything. Uh, so I just kind of did updates like this. And that's why the footage is like the way it is. is because uh, It just feels weird recording yourself while being recorded. Yeah, just weird. So yeah, sorry if uh, this is kind of broken and, well, it is very broken, much like me. Um, and hopefully at some point I can do this road trip of flying somewhere, buying a vehicle, road tripping it, road tripping it back, and recording the whole process like I want to. However, this trip is not that. So, until then, I'll see you.